Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You may need to create a document that contains columns like a newsletter. This lets you vertically separate text and have the text flow from one column to the next on the same page. You can add columns to a whole document or to a selected section in a document. If you want to add columns to only a part of your document, either select the text first or create the different section into which to add the columns. To create columns in a document in Word, place your cursor where you want the columns to start or select the text to separate into columns. Then click the Layout tab in the ribbon. Then click the Columns drop-down button in the Page Setup button group. In the drop-down menu of choices that appears, then click a Preset Column option. Alternatively, to create a custom column layout in Word, click the More Columns command to open the Columns dialog box. The Columns dialog box lets you set the number, width, and spacing of the columns. Choose your column options by using the buttons, spinner boxes, check boxes, and drop down in this dialog box. To select a preset to modify, click the desired preset button in the presets section. Alternatively, to specify your own number of columns, enter a number into the number of columns spinner box. To apply lines between the columns, check the line between checkbox. To have equal column width, Check the Equal Column Width checkbox in the Width and Spacing section. To manually set the column width and spacing, uncheck the Equal Column Width checkbox in the Width and Spacing section. Then set the Width and Spacing for each column in the scrollable list of columns in the Width and Spacing section by entering values into the Width and Spacing spinner boxes. If the Equal Column Width checkbox in the Width and Spacing section is checked, however, Note that you only need to adjust the desired width and spacing for the first column as the other columns will have the same width and spacing. Next, use the Apply To drop-down to choose where within the document to apply the columns. If you have created a new section and have your mouse cursor within it, you can choose this section from this drop-down to add the columns to the current section. To add them to the whole document instead, select the Whole Document choice from this drop-down. Alternatively, to create a new section break from the point at which your mouse cursor is located forward, select the This Point Forward choice instead. If you select this choice, you can also then check the adjacent Start New Column checkbox to start a new column in the new section. If you selected text before opening this dialog box, you can apply columns to either the selected text or the selected sections by choosing the desired option from this drop-down. A preview of the columns that will be created from your selections appears in the Preview section. When you are finished creating your custom column layout, click the OK button to apply your custom columns and close this dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.